So Lomachenko is going to fight uh, Richard Comey tonight, and I think it's a slept on fight. A lot of people have not been talking about it, and uh, generally, in terms of the fighting sphere, um, when you look at fight f combat fights in general, take into account MMA and boxing, everyone's been talking about uh, Charles Oliveira versus um, Charles Oliveira versus. Um, uh, Dustin Poirier so no one's even been talking about this fight and it's a fight that's actually flown under the radar obviously everyone's been talking about Cambosis beating uh, Lopez for all of the titles um, obviously Richard Comey's a good fighter I mean he, he was a champion at one point he's a class act in terms of the way he carries himself outside of the ring and um, obviously when he fought uh, Lopez, Lopez knocked him out, I think in less than five rounds. He knocked him out in the first or second round to win the IBF belt, which got him the shot against uh, Lomachenko. So, from that perspective, from that perspective, Richard Comey is probably being a bit overlooked in this fight in terms of the fans' perspective. Um, Lomachenko looks like he's literally f fuming at the mouth and he really wants to get his titles back. So I think at this point in time, I think Lomachenko is going to completely dominate uh, Richard Comey in this fight. I could be wrong, but I could see a beatdown similar to the Nakatani fight or when he fought uh, Nicholas Waters where he kind of makes him quit. I could see it happening. There is ways that um, Richard Comey can make it more difficult for Lomachenko. Obviously, he's got his power. And on top of that, he's probably taller and more rangy than Lomachenko. But Lomachenko seems to be... He seems to be one of them rare fighters that seems to fight better when he fights against fighters that are bigger than him. I remember Pacquiao used to be a bit like that. When he fought fighters that were bigger than him, he used to fight better against them than fighters that were his size. I mean, when he fought Marquez, Marquez is a similar size to Pacquiao. They both started their career. They both had their first fight at Super Featherweight and they went up to Welterweight. But when he fought like the likes of Margarito and uh, Cotto, obviously th there's more factors to it than just size. Uh, Marquez is probably more technically gifted than Cotto and Margarito. But the fact remains, uh, Pacquiao seems to struggle more against fighters that are his size compared to fighters that are bigger than him he seems to um excel when he fights fight fights fighters that are bigger than him like when he fought like margarita the way he dominated him when he fought when he was com coming up in welterweight when he fought um hatton and uh, oscar de la hoya the way he dominated them these are fighters that were bigger than him but ironically the bigger they were the more easier he found it and i think lomachenko is a similar way when he goes in there against a fighter that's bigger than he is um he seems to excel more than if he um, fights fighters that are his size. Um, I'm not saying he doesn't dominate fighters that are his size, but he seems to perform better when he fights against fighters that are bigger than him. So from that perspective, I, I just think um, I just think um, he he's got he's got an opportunity here to really um, uh, put himself in a good ranking to potentially fight for George Cambosis' titles and I think um, he, he's he's going to take that with both his hands he, he's literally going to put himself in a position where he, he, he's going to do what needs to be done to get the titles and he, I think Richard Comey's going to be the victim of that I think Richard Comey's going to probably get brutalised in this fight I just think Lomachenko's just on a whole other level now don't get it twisted upsets do happen in boxing and I, I can see Richard Comey pulling off an upset but at this point in time, the way the sport is uh, looking and um, the way Lomachenko seems like he's got the bit in between the teeth and he wants to get back his titles, um, I could actually see it. See, um, I could actually see Lomachenko stopping him within 10 rounds or getting a decision or making him quit. That's my official prediction. I think Vos Vasel Lomachenko badly wants to get his titles back. He's, he's in a sense feels like um he underperformed against lopez and now that lopez has lost his titles to the cambosis um he feels like maybe he can get his titles back because let's be real lopez didn't seem that keen on giving lomachenko a rematch for his titles yeah cambosis has now got the title so i think vasa lomachenko is looking at the landscape of the lightweight division and he thinks you know what i could potentially get back my titles now so yeah from that perspective i just think uh lomachenko is um he's probably gonna get it together and he's really going to put on a breakout performance against uh, Richard Comey so yeah that's my opinion I think it's going to be um, he's probably going to knock him out within 10 rounds I think um, and he's going to make it look quite easy it's going to be very close to the Nakatani fight that's my official prediction tell me your prediction below and like and subscribe to the channel I've got a lot more content coming your way peace out